This video is going to show you how to manage events in Eventbrite using a phone. Um, tablet might be very similar. So the first thing that you want to do is load the organizer app. It is the blue app, not the orange one. The orange one allows you to see the tickets that you've signed up for, but it, you can't manage events that you are in charge of. So you want the blue one. So let's take a look what it can do. So if I'm in the blue organizer event, um, I can click this home button up here and that's going to show all of the events that I am an organizer on. If I want to see a particular event, I click on it and I will see it. Then um, when I'm done, finding the event, I can click on check in. And under check in, I'm going to see a list of every single person who has signed up. And if I click on an individual's name, I'm going to see all the answers to their questions on the form um, that they filled out. So that could be their email address, their um, phone number, and any other information that we gathered on the sign in sheet. You'll notice also under the home that you can look at past events in here. So um, those are the things that I would really suggest that you take a look at is click on home, choose an event, click on the check-in. Orders will show you anybody who's dropped as well. Unfortunately, you can't cancel anyone. You can't look at the wait list. You can't see anything else with the app. So that's about it. Let's get out of the app. And now we're going to jump out to the browser. So uh, this is an iPhone, so I'm using Safari. You log into Eventbrite at eventbrite.com. Now when it says open in the app, ignore that because if you just open this in the app, uh, you're going to see exactly what we just saw. So when you first log in, you're taking a look at events that are in your area, but you want to manage events. So you'll come up here by your um, picture. If you didn't upload a picture, it'll have a generic head in there. And, and pull that down to manage events. And now you're going to see a list of all the events that you can manage. And so you'll click on the one that you need to take a look at. And it is a little bit different from a phone uh, uh, on the computer because instead of a main menu up down the side, you're going to see a triple bar here and that indicates a, a menu there. And you'll see then that you can get to order options and manage attendees. You can email your attendees if you click on manage and email. Um, under order options, you can take a look at your wait list. So if I click on the wait list, I can enable it or disable it. And I'm going to click on Manage Attendees and then Orders. And I can see all of the people who have signed up. And under Actions, I can cancel that attendee or I can delete. Canceling will send the person an email confirmation. If I delete it, they don't get any information that they have been canceled out of the out out of the event. Now if someone cancels and I want to add someone from the waitlist or if I just want to add some people, again I click on that triple bar and pull down to manage waitlist. And you'll notice that I can put a check mark before an attendee and then release the tickets. And the default is 24 hours um, for that person to have um, to claim the ticket. Notice I can also delete people from the waitlist as well. So I hope that helped you um, manage the events using a phone.